Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time for that moment of truth to where I am going to employ one of my greatest tactics. True Ultra Turtle. We're going to get to that soon because next chapter is not going to be fun. We'll get to that when we get to that, but for now, we still have chapter 5 to get through first. So, once again, things are not looking good. Zelgius basically handed our asses on a platter, and by ours, I mean Skrymir's. And now we're going to get the hell out of here before three days are up. Skrymir's an idiot. That's all I'm going to say. So, let's get it over with. General Zelgius's plan succeeds in breaking the morale and momentum of the Lagoo's forces. Skrimir accepts a challenge to single combat with Zelgius and barely escapes with his life. His defeat sends a wave of doubt and fear through the Lagoo's alliance. Ranulf, knowing that the situation has turned against them, orders a full retreat and the beast tribes use the three days offered by Zelgius to recross the Riban and begin the long march back to Gallia. We came so far and now it's time to just fucking turn our tails and run. Castle Gatos and Banyan. Hey, if you heard, the subhumans are retreating. General Zelgius is amazing. As long as we have him, Benyon has nothing to fear. Ahem. Gentlemen, this is no time for idle chatter. However, if you wish to praise General, General Zelgius, I suppose that is alright. He, he is the glory of our forces, after all. It's true. As long as he leads us, we won't be afraid of any dirty subhumans. Oh my god, the casual racism continues. Gah, that insufferable fool! I cannot believe he killed one subhuman and ended the battle! Who gave him an order like that? I don't care for such a petty victory! I understand, my lord. I was hoping that this would be the end of the subhumans once and for all. However, can we really punish him for winning the battle? What about Kilvus? They're still a thing. No, you fool! That's what makes it even more bothersome! Zelgius and the Apostle are both making mockeries of the Senate! They're more of a threat to Benyon than those filthy subhumans are. My lord, please let me fix this painful situation. I shall take to the battlefield and earn thus the result Benyon desires. That does sound lovely, I admit. Hasn't General Zelgus ordered all forces to cease fire for three days? Who is in charge here, my lord? Must you follow Zelgius' orders? Ha! Huh, I see your point. I shall leave everything you ten. Make Benyon proud, Lord Lombroso. <sighs> Fucking hell. Are we going straight to the base? Nope, we're not. We're at Cellular Castle. We're no for starting this retreat. Tibarna and his men are gathering information on Zelgius' forces. Before we left, Tibarna asked me to take you to Gallia, where you'll be safe. Are you ready to go? No. I won't leave, Ike. I won't leave this place. Reason, please. I've lived with the Hawk Tribe for 20 years. They're my family. I'll... I'll stay here and fight. Well, since I can't see, I won't... And see, I won't change your mind. You can join up with us. Grow Mercy can stay here as long as we want. After all, we're not on anyone's payroll right now. We're free agents. Ike, thank you. Great. So we're working for free now. We're working for free now. Fabulous. <sighs> right. So, Har's alive, so we can get a thing from Har. You need some for me, fearless leader? I thought you were asleep. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you were just standing there. Until you came within 50 paces of me. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you mind fighting alongside us? I like it fine. As long as I can catch some sleep, I don't care where I am. What can I do for you? Ever since you joined us, I've been mean to ask you about Jill. The last I heard, you were right some kind of delivery service with her. How did you end up passing through Crimea and then coming here? It's a long story, Ike. I stopped to chew the fat during a delivery. That's all. How's Jill these days? 
Well, that's her. She got mixed up with the army again, fighting for Dane's emancipation. I see. Don't you think you ought to go back to Dane and give her some support? She's a big girl now. She doesn't need me always looking over her shoulder. Joe can do whatever she wants. I don't understand. I thought you two were, you know, living under the same roof and all. She's the daughter of my dead teacher. Nothing more. Hey, if you don't want me hanging around, feel free to just say so. No, you you can stay as long as you want are. Sleep all you like as long as you kill my enemies for me. I don't care what you do. No, it isn't like that. You're great on the battlefield. I appreciate you being here. Good. I like you, mercenary group. Look at back me up the same goal. Crushing the Empire. That's true. Hey, how? Is that all? I'm gonna nap until we deploy. Don't wake me up until then. Of course he is. <laughs> hey, wait. Hmm? See that bag on my wyvern? There's a souvenir in there for you. Feel free to take it. A souvenir? It was a small thing. You don't need to thank me. Oh. He's asleep already! Asleep already? What a strange guy. I guess that's a corrosion scroll! Which I'm probably not gonna use, I don't remember what corrosion does. Uh, let me check my supports. Can I. No, I can't strengthen my supports. I don't know what the. Oh! Wait, can I do it now? Okay, I see how it works now. Alright, there I go. B support. Don't tell me it's the system for support is just like how it was in older games to where you had to be like right next to the person in order to build up your supports. Oh god, that's bad then, because I'm there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to build up the support anytime soon. Cause I can't have Sword near Ike half the time. Sword will get slaughtered. Oh my god. Alright, nice. Eight avoid is nothing to sneeze at. But for this map, right away I'm gonna say, right now, I will say to the base skippers too, all your Lagoose barring racing are unavailable for this map. All of them. So no Liar, no Lack, no Mordecai. Okay, Brahms out of Lagoose. But racing, he's still here. But as you can see that Renolf is not with us. But I am going to give all of Mordecai's stuff to Rayson. Because Rayson, as we know, is a very good unit because he has one job. And it's called refresh our other units so that they can do more stuff. He is a very good unit. We also have a lot of deploy slots for this chapter specifically. So I may actually take Braum and the others. I actually do need to buy another heal stuff. Oh, never mind, Renault's right here. I'm actually gonna take all of Renault's stuff. Except the heal. I'm gonna take the story sign. And that and that. Renault's not gonna need them. Oh, and you especially! Give me those! Those are very useful for our boy racing. Uh, otherwise. Put this away too. Do I have any spare swords? I have a Worm Slayer. And that's it. Otherwise, everyone's somewhat fine on weapons. Shannon's killer bow is running out of uses. Why do you have so many heals? <laughs> Hold on. You're one of those. Gatry's good for now. Heather's still bad. Reese's stuff. Mia has stuff. Brom needs stuff. Do I have any weapons for him? I have the hammer. That's it. Can you really only just use axes? He can use swords! Uh, E-rank, I guess? Okay, fine. I'll buy him a fucking sword. Well, actually, no. I have an even funnier and better idea. I have an even funnier idea. The tradition must continue. The tradition must continue. <laughs> Here you go, Bob. 
Wait, can you not use the sword? Oh, come on! I made this sword for nothing. Are you kidding me? Do you sell weaker swords? Well, I mean, he has the, there's a woe now and the bargains, but that's almost at my price range. He can't even use the weakest sword. Oh my god. All right, we'll just buy him a fucking couple axes then. All right, and uh, hand axe is out of the question. I will buy another iron bow, though, for someone. Wolf's is still fresh, so let's get this to Shannon. We don't need knives. We don't need tomes. We don't need lances. I would love to buy more javelins, but I don't think I need them. Yeah, let me see if we can see what corrosion does. Cause an enemy's unit to equip off the loose endurance points equal to this unit's level. That's interesting, I guess. Blossom's bad, though. We don't really have any other skills. I mean, I could take Kaiser's skill off him since I doubt I'm ever gonna use it. Mia has vantage. Mordecai has Smite. Smite's pretty useful. Let's pass around the bonus EXP because we have a lot of it again. Mist, you're special getting some. I want to get Mist reclass sooner rather than later. Because she gets a mount. And she also gets bad level ups apparently too. Alright, Soren. If I use the Master Crown him now, I can reclass him, but... I am not doing that. He lost Strike Rope, which is still con in this game. Oh, he capped magic. Never mind, it's fine. Titania is one level away from Tier 3. Strike the speed. We love those stats. Boy, doesn't he any Oscar, though. Why does it feel like it's just this is just going to be Titania and Oscar carry the squad again? Okay, Rez is fine. We have Cat, Skill, and Speed. Shannon is fine. Heart is almost to a tier 3 as well. Come on, Heart. Good stats. He capped... He's capped strength. And we already have Cat Defense. Alright, uh, let's see. Since we're going to use Braum, I will give him one level's worth of bonus EXP. I mean, he's not nearly as good as Gatry. Gatry is looking very fine. And then Rolf will give you some too. I'm gonna give Rolf two levels worth, just because he hasn't been used for a while. Okay, that's fine. Plus, we have all this bonus DSP burning a hole in my pocket, so I should use it before I lose it. Okay, that's decent. More strength's always good. Alright. These three are not getting any. Reese should be fine. He has Captain Magic. Nephany, really? What the hell? Get more some... She needs some more strength. Uh, let's see. And then... I'm not gonna give any to Ike yet, because Ike's reclass is through the story, and we're not gonna get that yet. And I am gonna pick up a spare heal staff for mist. Alright. So unfortunately, because Brom cannot use Meg, we're gonna give Meg <laughs> to Mia. Congratulations, Mia. You now have Brom's daughter's remains. Also, hold on. Brom, if you're gonna be coming with us, you're gonna get heal. Just want to make sure everyone... Okay, well, you don't have one either. Just have an herb. Just want to make sure everyone's got a heal. 
just in case. In case Mist isn't around to heal people. Well, Kaiser doesn't need one because he's not going to be here, so it's up to him. Alright, base skippers, we're using a lot of units. I'm not taking Ilyana, even though we can. She is so weak, it's not even funny at this point. But I did optimize Brom. I did make a weapon, but you can't even use it because his weapon level is too low. So Meg is in Mia's possession. Otherwise, we cannot use most of our Lagoose units. The only one... Who Wait, what the fuck? Why did I not take this from left? The only one who is going to be usable is Rayson. But otherwise, we gave bonus experience. We optimized everything. We should be ready for action. Let's get the show on the road. It's a defend map. Let's go. Ike, come out here. Hurry. It's the Benyon army. What? Well, sh holy shit, look at all those dudes. What are they doing here? He hasn't even been three days yet. It seems they couldn't care less. They're demanding the castle back. If we don't comply, they'll attack. They were, prob they were probably waiting for both the galleons and the hawk tribe to leave the castle. Oh, they, they can take us now that we're all alone, huh? They obviously don't know who they're up against. Let's make them remember the name of the Grail Mercenaries. Everybody get in position. Let's take them out. They really want to mess with us. All right. So. We have a lot of deploy slots. We are not using Ilyana. We are taking Rayson. For obvious reasons. Ilyana is bad. Rayson is not bad. So we're going to do some swapping. We'll put Nephany here because these guys are all sword masters. We will put... We're gonna keep... Wait, where are the... Is there even a way up here from over here? Oh, yeah, there are ledges. Alright, Tanya can go up here. Shannon up here. Rolf, up here for sure. Down there. Look at this mess. There are any droppables. Uh, there is one guy, I'm pretty sure, with a meteor. Yup, there he is. All, all the way out here. And then there's the boss. Who has a droppable energy drop. And he has cap speed. And res. So the thing is about this chapter is... Okay, well never mind. The game just tells us outright. All we have to do is survive 10 turns or kill the boss, which is probably the harder option because look at all this. Look at all these dudes down here. Alright. Wolf over here. Mia like this. Alright. I think we're set. So let's save the game and defend the base for 10 turns or kill the boss, whichever comes first. Alright, so we also have ballistas we can use to do minor damage. Minor damage. Minor damage. 12. But I think I'm going to attack you. All right, and Rolf. Finish him. All right, so we're gonna have... These two hang out over here. And then we'll have Titania. And Har sit here for a moment. All right, Mia, get down there. Rayson needs no introduction, but 
but what was that other thing you could do? It doesn't say. Alright, she can use the woe dial for now. Uh, boy, to go this way. And then Ike will go this, will go straight down. I probably should have put Gatch over here. Well, that's my mistake. And then Reese can hang out here. Who hasn't moved? All right, yeah, Soren. I always forget about Soren. Let me see. All right. Let's see what you got. First guy. Oh God. Is dead. Second guy is going for Nephany. Never mind, you missed. All right, Mia, you're gonna have to live this one. Oh, advantage! Oh no! Ah! Well. And just like that, we have lost one unit. Of all things, it had to be a crit. All right, here they come. Ugh. Yeah, it was a bad idea to move Mia there. They can't get up the wedge, so they have to come. The dudes who can't climb the wedge have to go around the long way. Alright, sortie. 13. Of course. I missed a 73? Are you kidding me? You're dead. There's no way. Oh my god, we're going right back to the Banyan School of Hyper Accuracy. Alright, yep, here they come. Alright, Ike, get down there. Shannon, uh. Shoot that guy. And then Boyd can hand axe. And now they can't get up here. Go. And meanwhile, we'll finish him off. Alright, let's see. Heather can actually, believe it or not, do something. Never mind, no she can't. She's still bad.
Yo, if only this was like Engage, where knives poison the enemy. Unfortunately, it's not. Gatry, go. That's what you get for killing Mia. Alright, what do these guys have? Sword, sword, short spear. You meteor heck, meteor man? No, he's not. That's actually perfect. Alright, most of them are swords. We should be fine. Oh! There! That's what you get! Alright, Reese can kind of... Hold on. What do you have? Great Lance. He can't reach me. But he can reach Gadry. Alright, this guy's dead. No matter what. So actually, instead, you just heal. So if I don't move out of the way, then I don't have to worry nearly as much. I have an idea here. Because this Thunder Mage is most definitely going to try and make a move on Gatry. Alright. I think we're good for now. Me this can hang out here. Actually, no, even better. She can come over here and heal her. Alright, it should be good. Fools! Can't you see that you're outnumbered? You're side with the Ugoos and betrayed the Empire! The Senate will be happy to see the likes of you dead and buried! So I've heard. Alright, here they come. You have a throwable? Yes, you do. Not like it mattered much. My throwables are. Never mind. All right, that guy in the back is probably the scariest one. All right, I'm not doing much damage. Dude! What is with Nephany and these low percent crits? <laughs> these aren't even Wrath crits either, they're just regular crits, and she just keeps getting them. All right. Come on, disarm him. Oh, come on. We certainly have our work cut out for us. Oh, God. Wait, never mind. I'm on a ledge. <laughs> she doubles mages, too. What is wrong with you, Catherine? Why are you so strong? Alright, meanwhile, these guys are just lined up. Alright, two mages, a healer- oh, come on! He's gonna go get healed. Alright, here we go, round two with this guy. This dude- This dude clearly went to the Banyan School of Hyper Accuracy. Okay, here we go. Twelve, but that hit rate is shaky. Alright, hard. Did you get him? No, of course not. And that one guy's gonna get healed. Oh, come on! More of them? Ike, uh, hang out here. 
Alright, I just need to make sure that the throwables are not near me. Crossbow Joe is a problem. I don't have a throwable with Ike. Actually, Soren. If I get Ad after he's dead, what do you have? What does this other guy have? Just an axe. All right, go. You know, it sounds like there's so much I have. Frickin' throwable. He's not dead. You're not dead. Neither are you. But if I remove the healer from the equation, then this becomes a lot less annoying. So, go. Oh, my God, Abdi's dead. Alright, and Boyd, hand axe, go. And Shannon. Can't kill either any of these dudes. But I can pick off someone over here. Oh, I can hit you. Alright. Reese. Heal. I could keep these guys, like, literally congested here if I wanted to. What I am going to do is start picking these guys off one by one. Would be nice if I can disarm one of them. Alright, hold on. This may actually be a moment where I use the Great Lance. Never mind, it does no damage still. I mean, he's not hitting me, whatsoever. That's fine. He's basically dead. And then we can do no damage at all with Heather. Actually, Heather can come over here and... Do pot shots. And I get a weapon level increase I'm never gonna need. Uh short axe. This guy in the back, he's dead. If I'm gonna sit here for 10 turns, and he got cancelled too! If I'm gonna sit here for 10 turns, I may as well take pot shots while I can. Because not a single one of these dudes, except for Crossbow Joe over here, has a throwable. Oh, if I want to, I could have Heather do more pot shots. Or I could do this. Wait, well, what does Bliss do? Raises by a or tax point. Sure! Alright, we should be good for now. I kinda wish I had a hand axe for Brom. Oh well. He has a throwable. I mean, that's a low hit rate. Of course he hits it, though. Alright, come on. Don't. Good. Come on, Daphne. Get some of those low percent crits you're known for, apparently. Or strength growth. Yo, whichever comes first. Uh-oh. That's gonna be bad. Okay, that's actually damage!
Alright, up here he comes. Um... Yeah, that's still not much at all. He actually landed it, though. Alright. Oh, funniest thing is, all these dudes have no choice but to go up the long way. And meanwhile, Oscar picking them off one at a time. You are not hitting me. <laughs> you are not hitting me. Goodbye. Alright, here we go. This pot shot fever is about to end. Because this sword guy is dead. He has landed 360s in a row. Alright, who's next? Oh, he's gonna go get healed. Look at that fucking line of power then, so. And they all had short spears. Good. Nice. Double bash. Alright, this guy's getting back in there. For another round with Har. 4 HP is baby numbers for Har. Oh, he's so dead, I can probably use Mist to finish him off. Alright, he up heal that guy up. Oh god, Thunder Mages! Alright, Heather, can you not kill him? No, of course not! Of course you can't kill anything. You are a bad unit, after all. Alright, Gatry... Finish off this guy. Send him to hell. Alright, once this side is, like, less filled to the brim with enemies, we should have less of a problem. Wait, what do you have in the- what- you in the back? Sword? I'm actually gonna have Mist come over here and he do some healing. No, not attack! Healing! Because we can just do this. Galder. And you can hang out there while Mist heals up. Gatry. And we have two blisters apiece left. I could kill this guy, but I could just have Brom do it. Uh. Hit him. Because what I'm going to do is have Braum finish off this guy. Why the hell would you even give Braum a sword rank, though, if he can't even use, like, any of the swords in the game? Except the Slim Sword. Which, I think Mia had my Slim Sword, so guess who doesn't have a Slim Sword anymore? This guy. Alright, roll. Finish him. Alright, good. Roll Fox, we got a level up. Okay, not bad. That's actually pretty good. Alright. I want to see something real quick. Whoa, what was that? If I send you down here, do you kill him? No. Alright. Alright. 
and axe him. And then Soren can just hang out there. Ike's fine there. Reese, do your thing. And keep Titania topped off. Right, this dude right here is gonna go get healed, which honestly I don't have an issue with. Because what I can do is kill someone else in the Congo line. Never mind, he was on one. Unfortunately for the healer, he can only heal one guy at a time. And he is the last of his kind. Tanya can kill this guy, though. Oh, she actually definitely killed him. Alright. Heather still can't do fuck all. Which is fine. Heather's job isn't even to do much of anything. Oh! Holy crap, that was lucky. Alright, Mist, you need to get the hell out of there. Alright, two Thunder Mages. And you're just gonna die to Brom. Bye. All right, and you got weapon level up. Nice. All right, look at this fucking Congo line. Looks like this other guy has literally just accepted his death. Good, Gamsorn. Oh, he's dead. Do this crossbow, guys. We're just gonna sit here all day. Let me guess. You're gonna go grab a heal. Yep, they're running off to go get healed. And they're gonna have new guys replace them. You fool. Gee! <laughs> Jeez, Titania is raping these people, dudes, apart. All right, here we go. Uh oh, I have a lance equipped. All right, line them up. You're the next contestant. The price is right. Wow, pathetic. Ugh, three more? And they all have lances? Alright, miss, get the hell out of there. Or do any of these fuckers have throwables? Well, yes, there was a bow. But that's an easy solution to get out of, because all we do is just do this. Alright. Then Miss can hang out here. Heather can do something, I think. Yes, she can. Actually, go on this side and kill this guy over here. There you go, Heather, you actually killed something. Alright, and Titania will start closing the path down. Oh, 
Wow, that steel axe is not looking so hot. All right, five. I swear, hard just cannot dodge anything, apparently. Like, he kills everything, but just doesn't dodge. Alright, I don't know where these dudes are going. We have one ballista yet. Let's... Uh, let's pick off the stragglers. And that's it for ballistas. Alright, well, Gatry. These are all sorties, so you know what to do. Well, except for you. You have a short spear. You need to die first. Gatry. He has not disarmed a single one of these dudes. More speed is always good. I am impressed at how much speed Gatry is getting, despite being an armor knight. Alright. We should be fine for now. Once the Thunder Majors are out of the way, I think I'm going to start a big assault rush for the boss. I mean, we are going to have to keep this right side defended still, because there are like four, four generals on their way over here. Well, except this guy, he's dead. He's not gonna last long. Wow, someone actually hit Gatry! I'm shocked! Bye! Brick wall Gatry, though. Oh my goodness. Yep, three of them. They all have lances. That's great. Alright, here we go. The Congo line continues. 19? I have to be careful. My freaking axe is almost out of use. I'm going to have to buy another one. Alright. They're both going towards Oscar. Okay. Do I double him too? Oh my gosh. Now, now we're getting Wrecking Ball Har. Right when my axe is almost out of uses. Because okay. 10. Damn it. He's dead though. Watch as the dynamic duo shreds all these guys to nothing. Look at this absolute slaughter. Oh, I'm coming for your ass too, healer. Don't, don't fret. You're next. Uh-oh. I actually can't do anything about this. Ah. Oh, and he just can't. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This is getting bad. <laughs> nice 83 mess, buddy. Okay. Low hit rate. It's fine. He's dead. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, I think it's time. We go for the kill. Mm. 
Level 20. Alright, do I have anyone competent to can... Because I want to deal with this guy first. Oh, well, now he can attack. Twice. Alright, Ike actually can come over here and kill this guy right now. Ike actually gets to do something on this map. How nice. Oh, bye. How nice. Ike actually got to do something on this map. Alright, Reese. Well, actually, use the men's staff, actually. Alright, you have anything on you? The healer doesn't either. Alright, Rayson can come over here and refresh Ike. And now that we're out of ballistas, we can get in there and start doing some stuff. All right, good. That's a kill for Nephany. No work, Shannon. Shannon's on his way to reclassing too. All right, how far away are these guys? About one turn away. Go, Nephany. One point, of course. Alright, Rolf, get down here with your brother. Alright, doesn't seem like we're going to need to worry as much anymore. These two Thunder Majors are going straight towards Oscar's direction. So let's just have the three brothers hang out over here. And Brom can just stay there, I guess. There are no dudes coming, so Miss can take the time to heal, and then we'll use Ike to kill this one guy. Don't you get me short. None of these guys have the all. There, there's a throwable. One in the middle has a throwable. All right, Heather. Worm Slayer, why? Worm Slayer, why? Heather can hang out in the grass and... She doesn't even kill this guy! Why? Why are you such a bad unit, Heather? At least... If Ike doesn't kill this guy, I think Heather can probably finish him. Yeah, he was on one. Heather, can you at least kill this guy? He has one HP. Yes! Maybe! If you land both your, one of your hits, at least! Yeah! There you go, Heather! You actually killed something! Maybe you're not a completely hopeless case, after all. Ah... Uh, I miss Volk. <laughs> I'm just gonna say how much. I miss Volk. At least you can actually kill things. Alright. Here they come. Six of them. Oh my goodness. We need to end this fast. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. Oh! Alright, here they come. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, 
Alright. Here they come. Oh, wait. That was a dumb idea. Well, at the very least, what I can do is... First off, you! You need to die. You have been a pain in the ass this whole time, and you need to go. Forever. Alright. Har. Park it there. Ike, I hope you're ready to tank some bows. Alright, miss. Hang out there. Reese, come over here. Hold on. Rolf can sit here. And then Soren can hang out here. With his outwind. Alright, we should be good. Rayson's meter isn't maxed yet. And then what we're gonna do is... We're gonna... S hold on. Yeah, we're gonna sneak Shannon in down here. Because if we got lucky... Provoke will proc, and these dudes will just start trying to go for him. Alright, short spear first. But that was so worth it, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Please, get strength. I mean, she got strength, but she didn't get anything else. Like most of her stats are good stats are capped already. Uh oh. Oof. I mean, as long as we're brick walling here, the support range is that far. I'm impressed. I didn't think it was that far. We certainly have our work out for us, though. Go, Rolf, go! He doesn't double. Because, of course not. Alright, here we go. Shoot him. And this guy's finished. Oscar definitely kills. Before <laughs> we can just do that, that was two. All right, here they come. Oh, they're going for Ike. I mean, seven isn't that much. We have a lot of HP. That hit rate is a lot lower. I'm a fan of that one. Good. Three of these fuckers. Well, two out of three is bad. All right. Well, this could be not great. Nice story, buddy. You gonna land yours too? No. Oh my god, another pack of them? Uh, 
Uh, go for crats. That's not crit. Shannon. Buddy. Oh god, he is in the boss's range. Okay, I have an idea here. Pot shot fever, round two. Wait, Horse Slayer, what's your range? Okay, that's fine, because I can just do something like this. And then do this. Mist can heal you. So neither of these guys can reach Ike. What I'm gonna do is pray they both target Shannon, and I'm healing Ike now. Alright. Nephany, I actually have Nephany just heal herself. These two have one job, and it's to stall these guys as long as they can. We only need to survive two more turns. Wow, Rolf is scoring big EXP from this map. Alright. Good, that's a good level up. Nice. Alright. Okay. What I'm thinking here is... I need to rush this dude soon. Meanwhile, this little pot shot festival is going to keep going. Like, I'm not worried at all about Gatry. Gatry is just... Look at this man. This man is an absolute unit. I have nothing to fear with Gatry. What I do have to fear is that... Never mind, the hit race is really shaky. Really shaky. But they're all just gonna keep going for her. That's even more shaky. Alright, and then there's this guy. Good. Give him the double poke. Your job is not to kill them, but to stall them. So that way they can't get in the way of my other units. Like this Thunder Mage over here. He is wasting turns trying to kill Brom when he can't even reach Brom. Only problem is I have a whole pack of dudes on their way to murder me. Oh no. Six? That hit rate sucks! <laughs> horse Slayer Joe. No, wait, no, you're not a Horse Slayer. You're a Steel Bow. Your hit rate sucks. This is the Horse Slayer. And this actually is even better than what I was hoping for. Because now that he's over here... OH SHIT! THERE'S METEOR! <laughs> Never mind. Wow, we may get through the 10 turns just fine after all. Okay, well, that's not fine. 
Because the funny thing is, Rayson's meter should be full by now. I just need to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, yeah, there's no way. We're gonna have to make a hasty retreat. I mean, I don't really get anything out of killing the boss, surprisingly enough. Like, really, the most we get out of it is EXP. But I think a tactical retreat is definitely the play here. Let them come to me, and then we murder them all. All right, these three can't get up here. But at the very least, I got to do something. All right, so since we're gonna stall... We're just gonna slap you with this axe. Alright, Nephany. Just equip this and sit there. Mmm. Yeah, we should be fine. Look at those shaky hit rates. They're still trying. Okay, well, this guy's. Definitely probably gonna hit me. Never mind. This is really wearing on the weapons I do have, though, which is bad news for later. Good. This dude is still trying. He is wasting his time. Short spear. Yep. Unfortunately, I have the high ground. You fool! I have the high ground! Oh. Well, there goes my javelin. That is Worm Slayer Will. Can't hit the broad side of a barn. As long as he stays away from horror, that's fine. Why is your hit rate still so high? Horse Slayer. Horse Slayer Hank. Horse Slayer Hank can't hit the broads out of a barn. Oh, Meteor Man. Meteor Man. Could you please all just stop? Really? Alright, well, bad news for you, buddy. You are not hitting me. And you're dead. Well, never mind, he's not dead. He lives on one. Are there any more dudes? Yo, I shouldn't have said anything. Of course there are. Alright, Worm Slayer Will is now in a bad position for me. That we have archers to worry about now. So, uh, we're gonna have to do a little something something called Ike, you need to kill this Worm Slayer. Or, Shannon, you can come over here. And, uh... Well, you only have two shots left. Hopefully you got to crit one of them. Killer ball well used!
All right, now we don't need to worry about the Worm Slayer. So that's one gigantic problem out of the way. The next gigantic problem is the 501 archers ready to fucking poke holes in my units. All right, this is the last turn. So let's soak up as much EXP as we can get out of these dudes. Like that. All right, Soren, destroy him. All right, and you. For unfortunately for you, I have a fresh javelin with your name on it. Would things have been a bit easier if I had Ilyana? Maybe. If the Earth first turn didn't go as poorly as it did, I feel like things would have been better overall. Go. I can't ask him twice. Nice. I only got luck, are you serious? Uh hard do this. This is the last run anyway, so it's fine if I do some shenanigans like this. And Titania! Wow, I really need to get some more weapons. Alright, we're gonna use this pole axe. Okay, just hang out there, we are on the last turn. Hmm. I could kill two more guys. The legendary racing four-way, but in this case a two-way, is back in action. Now I can kill two more guys. Now all we have to do is just make sure Ike survives the turn. Because all that's left over here are archers. And two sword guys. Cancelled. Nice knowing ya. Alright. Horse Slayer Hank can't hit Titania. All right, this is the last turn, so let's soak up that EXP. How much do I do with the hand axe? Enough. You know what? I don't like your short spears. Get out of here. Wish I had more short spears. Can't even buy them. Fuck you, short spear. Alright, so, uh, part two of this whole th sip debacle is Shannon needs to not die. Which is easier than all the other parts of this whole operation. I go. You're on a bush. You should be fine. He's gonna be fine. 22 defense. He's in a bush. He'll be fine. In theory, at least. Alright, meanwhile, this Congo Wire dude stands no chance. This Congo Wire dude stands no chance. We are basically in the clear. Alright. Last turn, go. Shaky hit rate. 
target practice. It's not going well for this dude. All right, here we go. This is the last guy you can hit, Nephany. Congratulations, you failed. Meanwhile, Gatry is going to show him what's up. Brick wall, Gatry! And I disarmed him too! Of course I get my one disarm at the end of the map. When it would have helped so I could steal these weapons off these guys. Because I need the cash. Boy, do you need some more speed to double things. Alright. Go, Soren, go! He's dead! I'm so glad I bought the second Elwyn Tome. That was such a worthwhile investment. Because I'm getting so much mileage out of it. Alright. Okay, Shannon. 44 is higher. Ouch. Alright, Meteor. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> I told you he'd be fine because he was a bush. Okay, that's not fine. Yeah, that's not fine. I told you I could be fine because he was in a bush. I mean, he just has to survive, what, three more attacks? He has plenty of health. He'll be fine. Um. He'll be fine. Okay, see? See what I mean? He'll be fine! It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! Look at that! No problems at all. And look at that! Titania gets more free EXP! Because there's no realistic way in hell these guys kill her! Well, that's unfortunate. All right, last dude, line him up. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine, but at least we still got damage off. All right, and that should be it. Lord Lomposo, stop fighting at once. You're Lavali, correct? Zelgius' lapdog? Commander Zelgius ordered all forces to cease fire for three days. How dare you ignore his order? Keep your tongue behind your teeth and pull all your troops back to base camp immediately. I'll pull back for now, but you better be prepared for the consequences, you witless lackey. They're retreating. That was close. Hey, hold on a minute. What's going on here? Will you hurry back and you don't save us anyone to fight? Sorry about that. You're back sooner than I expected. How far did you scout? We went to the enemy's headquarters, Castle Gatos. As promised, the Banyan forces were waiting quietly in their castle. Apparently, some of their soldiers disobeyed orders. We can trust Zelgius to keep the rest in line. I have other news to offer. I ran into someone quite unexpected on the outskirts of enemy territory. Who? Commander of the Holy Guards. General Sigrun? Yeah, she was by herself. She'd hesitated to get near Castle Gatos. It was odd. I figured since she's a friend and loyal to the Apostle, why not get some information from her? She went budge. Tough girl, that one. She wasn't at all surprised to see me. Then she said in such a sad voice, Please escape at once. I wonder what she meant by that. Can't be a good sign. This whole mess is getting worse by the minute. let say that again. We already have one death on our belts, too. Alright, here we go. Back at Castle Gatos. General Zelgius, General Sigrun of the Holy Guard is here to see you. Should I let her through? General Sigrun, let her through at once. Is something the matter, General? You do not look well. Should I send for something? Water, perhaps? General Zelgius, I... I carry an order from the Senate. The ceasefire has been repealed. You are ordered to destroy the Lagoose Alliance and their allies as well. You know, I'm honestly not surprised at this point. What? The enemy has already lost the will to fight. The Apostle and Lord Seferin would never agree to such a terrible plan. General Sigrun? 
Lord Saffron of Persis has been stripped of his titles as Prime Minister and Head of the Senate. What? Why? He is currently under arrest and charged with committing high treason and fomenting rebellion. No! Impossible! This is madness! It doesn't end there. The Apostle has gone to seclusion with illness as a stayed reason. Damn it! They've been captured! I've ordered my subordinates to find out where the Apostle is, but I've yet to hear any word. General Zelkius, I beg of you, follow the Senate's orders. Our friends' lives are at risk. Curse those senators. Jeez. Things looking bad on all c Oh boy. You called for me, your majesty? It is nice to see you, Micaiah. You remain Danes of goddess of victory. But I never see your face around here anymore. Are you busy in town? Your majesty, my room in the castle is much too lavish to my taste. I'd rather be in town helping with the reconstruction. It's good work. It makes me happy to help our people. How precious. Still obsessed with garnering the adoration of peasants, are we? Aren't you past that yet, my dear? Mother, please stop. Micaiah is my dear friend. She is the only person I have to turn to for a kind word now that Izuka and the Black Knight have both left Dane. They mysteriously disappear on the day of my coronation. Do you think they'll ever return? I am quite sure that they were both kidnapped by those who wish to harm, charm upon you, my beloved son. Those mongrels intend to throw the country to chaos by holding Dane's leaders hostage. But, Mother will always protect you, Pelias. I will never leave you, not for one moment. When you seek kind words or good advice, you must come to me and no one else. I understand, Mother. I don't like the sound of this. This all seems like manipulation. The royal blood of Dane runs through your veins. Do not be afraid of your heritage. Reign over your people as a king. Whatever popularity that girl might garner from the peasants is of little consequence. She is your obedient subject, after all. You know, she's- Micaiah's literally standing right here! You know, lady. Now, give her your orders. Micaiah, Dane's Maiden of Dawn, your king requires your service once more. Mobilize the Dane royal army immediately. Another war? Against who? We are answering the request from the Banyan Empire to wipe out the barbaric Lugus Alliance. Your targets are Gallia subhumans. Welp. This has just gotten a whole lot worse. Not even several in-game months ago, Dane was basically subjugated to Banyan's will, and now they're willfully working with the people who subjugated them in the first place to take out the Lagoose Alliance. So next time is going to be brutal, because instead of playing with the Grail Mercenaries, we will have no choice but to use the weak, heavily underpowered, and with three dead units, Dawn Brigade, against Lagoose. You know, it's basically just one four, except a whole lot worse. So we're going back to the trenches, the hellish trenches of pain, where I don't even remember what I have on that army anymore. Next time. Also, all our carriers are gone, so yeah, we're gonna have fun. So we'll see you then. The pain train begins for real.